Hello, welcome to another Belmont devotional. I'm Phil Kendrick. Today we're going to look at Psalm 119, which, uh, as many of you know, is a very long psalm. It's the longest chapter in the Bible, and it's not even close. It's 176 verses. At the top of my Bible, uh, it's, it's NIV, it says, In Praise of God's Word also says this psalm is an acrostic poem. The verses of each stanza begin with the same letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Uh, I'm going to encourage us uh, today to get more into the word, and there's different ways that, that we can do that. In Psalm 119, it may be more than you want to uh, take on in one sitting, so there's different ways to do that. Uh, today I was going to look at the first verse of each stanza and and read 22 verses that way um, but I sort of got drawn into it as I was doing that I got to uh, verse 89 your word O Lord is eternal it stands firm in the heavens I couldn't stop there so I went on your faithfulness continues through all generations you establish the earth and it endures your laws endure to this day for all things serve you and then here's verse 92 if your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. Go on to verse 97. Oh, how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. And then the familiar verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet, a light for my path. I want us to, to really fall in love with the word of God. Uh, I have a, a variety of uh, materials here in front of me. I'm sort of old school, and I like to, to have the actual books in my hand. We are fortunate to have other ways on your phone, computer. Uh, you can see many versions of the Bible and, uh, and actually listen to them as well. So, uh, but, but for today, I'm, I'm going to be referring to the actual books. Uh, I have a one-year uh, daily Bible in chronological order. I, I, I read this every day in uh, this helps to ensure that I will read through the entire Bible uh, at least once uh, every year. I have uh, then, when I otherwise read the Bible, I have other tools that I use. This is a Strong's Exhaustive Concordance. It's got every word in the Bible, and if you just wanted to look up a word and see uh, what was in there, you can do that. You'll also have, in, if you have a study Bible, a, a, a smaller concordance in, in the back of that. Uh, so what I would encourage you to do is maybe just pick out a word during this time. Pick out the word peace or joy or something that uh, you think, boy, I could use some more of that in my life right now, and uh, and read every place it is. It'll Or if it's too much, you might just go to um, the New Testament and say, or maybe even the words of Jesus. I want to read about what Jesus says about peace, and that won't take you long, or or joy. But then you might get on a roll and say, well, I just want to read everything in the Bible. And maybe that in an hour you can read every verse on joy in the Bible or, or kindness. Another thing I would recommend to you is read, uh, pick out a favorite verse of yours and read it in different versions and, and we're going to do that now I picked out a, a, a very short uh, verse for us to look at it's actually two verses in first Thessalonians 5 verses 16 and 17 be joyful always pray continually there's two verses two very short verses and you may think well what can you do with those in different translations so I just picked out a few uh, that was the NIV and we have the New American Standard here, which says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing. The King James says this, Rejoice evermore. I love that. Pray without ceasing. And we have uh, the message here, which says, Be cheerful no matter what. Pray all the time. And we will look at, let me see, the Amplified here. Be happy in your faith and rejoice and be glad-hearted continually. 
always, be unceasing in prayer, praying perseveringly. And finally, from the Passion. Let joy be your continual feast. Make your life a prayer. So, read through the Bible and then do different things with it. Go to a concordance, pick out a, a favorite word and see what the word says about that. Or go pick out a favorite verse and read it in different translations. So to conclude, let's look at uh, the Passion, uh, Psalm 119, verse 92. Because your words are my deepest delight, I didn't give up when all else was lost. So let's take comfort in the word of God. Thank you.